We have said that signals received by receptor tyrosine kinases result, one of, the, one of the things they do is tell cells to divide. What happens when there's something goes wrong? One of the things these signals do is result in activation of certain proteins, their kinase specially activity. So what happens when things go wrong? Let's look at an example that happens in nature. Chronic myelogenous leukemia. In this disease, there's a translocation between normal chromosome number 9 and chromosome number 22. There's a chromosome 9, there's a chromosome 22. So we know what translocation is. Chromosome 9 has a region that codes for a kinase called Abelson tyrosine kinase, abbreviated as ABL. So when there is translocation, a portion of this chromosome breaks and it exchanges this portion with a portion of chromosome 22. The end result is that there is a changed chromosome 9 and there is a changed chromosome 22. This chromosome, changed chromosome 22 is basically also called Philadelphia chromosome. So here what happened, this ABL gene was coded for the full protein, it included a regulatory domain. When this translocation happened, this gene broke off in the middle and lost the inhibitory domain. So that inhibitory domain, without the inhibitory domain, this fusion protein, this protein when it forms, it is a fusion, it's a hybrid protein between BCR and ABL. This fusion protein lacks that inhibitory domain and it starts phosphorylating proteins even if the signals to proliferate are not there. Signals, for example, PDGF, we said, can cause cells to divide. So when this happens, these cells start to divide and this results in chronic myelogenous leukemia. It's a type of blood cancer. So let's look at how we can cure that. One of the ways we could do that is find an enzyme, find a molecule that would bind this enzyme and inhibit its function. People did this simulations on computer. They, they made a molecule. They came up with a molecule which is called imatinib and it is sold under the name Glavec. This molecule basically fits in the active site of this enzyme. We know what active site of an enzyme is. When it fits in this, the active site of enzyme, it prevents this BCR, ABL protein, fusion protein from binding ATP. So if this protein cannot bind ATP, it will not be able to transfer a phosphate group to its target protein, the substrate protein, and relay the signal forward. So it is a beautiful example of how people came up with a simple drug which could fit in an enzyme that is stimulated by receptor tyrosine kinases and causes the cells to divide. So this drug, imatinib, can basically cure 90% of cancers. Traditionally, people used to think cancer is incurable or if it is cured, it requires therapy which causes extreme discomfort to the patient. For example, radiotherapy is one of them. Chemotherapy is another. So this protein has no other side effects other than binding the enzyme at the active site. Now you can see the Glavec has bound this enzyme at the active site and it cannot phosphorylate other proteins and there is no leukemia. Previously, without this Glavec, this enzyme was functioning without any inhibition and phosphorylating proteins which resulted in cell division, excessive cell division, which is basically cancer. So this is one of the ways. Another situation we discussed, another case we discussed was neurofibromatosis. I hope you remember it from your genetics lecture. At that time, I also mentioned that this is basically due to mutation in a protein called neurofibromelin. This is a negative regulator of RAS. Now we know what RAS does. RAS needs another protein to tell it to shut off. So if that protein is mutated, RAS stays constitutively on, it will result in cell division, uncontrolled cell division, which will result in these tumors you can see on this particular patient. And by the way, I hope you also remember this is a dominant disorder. So it is a protein, protein mutations in genes that code for regulatory proteins 
result in a disease which is transmitted in a dominant pattern of inheritance. So let's continue. Signals, generally the signals that are telling cells to survive or differentiate, these are generally not one signals because these signals are very, very important. Since you're talking about cell proliferation resulting from signals received at receptor tyrosine kinases, generally these signals are integrated by integrator proteins. We have talked about integrator proteins also. So two receptors, when they receive signals, the two mechanisms how integrated proteins can function, these receptors activate proteins that add phosphate group at a particular site of a protein that tells cells to divide. The signal from another receptor B also phosphorylates the same protein Y, but now at a different site. Unless this protein Y has two phosphate groups attached at specific locations, which are here and here, this protein will not be functional. Okay, so if this protein is not fully functional, cells will not be able to divide or produce the response to these two cytokines or signaling molecules. Another way this can be accomplished is two receptors, but their binding of ligand to these receptors result in phosphorylation of two separate proteins. And these two proteins, after they have a phosphate group attached to them, they have a conformational chain and they can now bind each other and convey the down signal downstream. So these are the two ways cells can regulate proliferation by having signal integration mechanism. Another way cells regulate receiving signals is by manipulating, for example, their receptor system, the receptor protein that is receiving the growth hormones or growth signals. One of the ways is the receptor is sequestered. It is no longer allowed to translocate to the plasma membrane. Another way we could do that, cells could do that, is they degrade the receptor rather than placing it on the plasma membrane or even if the receptor is present on plasma membrane it can be endocytose sent to the lysosome where it could be degraded receptor can be inactivated for example there can be modification in the cytoplasmic domain of this receptor that prevents it from giving signals downstream in the cell there's another way you could inhibit the protein that is receiving the signal from this particular receptor or cells could make inhibitory proteins that disrupt receptors from conveying the signal to the proteins or the affected proteins in the cell. So the ability of cells to divide, to receive signals and divide is a very sensitive, uh, is a very sensitive process and it can have disastrous effects if it is not regulated. Cells have different mechanisms, evolve different mechanisms to make sure that the signal they are receiving to divide is a real one and it's not a, 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 a fake signal or a signal that can result in mal malfunctioning of that organism.